Hey everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show how to use ML.NET within a GitHub code space, or essentially pretty much use ML.NET within Visual Studio Code. To get started with code spaces, there's a couple ways you can do it. Uh, first, there's a code spaces link up here, right? and I'll click on new code space, and I can select repository I want this to be on here. So let's see, I have this code space repository. Now, and for this to work, the repository does need to have a branch, which means it can be blank. There needs to be something in there. And I just have a readme in there. So I have my main branch and just a two core machine here. And I'll create the code space. And while that's getting set up and it's already done, I'll go ahead and go to a repository here. This is one I have I did earlier with the code space. And you can see with the code here, Usually you could do local with the code, but now we have this code spaces tab and we just create a code space based on this repository. All right, so it's blank code space. There's nothing in here. As you see, I have a readme, but there's nothing in there. Now, since we're doing with .NET and the best thing to do with .NET and Visual Studio Code is to use the .NET CLI. Uh, but let's type it in, see what happens. Oh, so code space already has the .NET CLI integrated, so we don't need to download and install that on our own. Uh, so let's look at some help here. What can we do with the .NET CLI? We've got quite a few things here. And so we're going to do a new project. So uh, let's clear .NET new and see what all we need to do here. And it helps if I do the right command. All right, so create. This I think is what we need. Oh, we use a template. All right. And so if we want a console app, so .NET new console. They've got a new console app, and in fact, it names the same project as our code space, as our repository name, pretty much. So I have our program CS here, got top level functions here, so we need that main method. And it already prompts us the extension for C Sharp, so I'll go ahead and install that. All right, that's installed. All right, so next, I'm going to need to add the .NET, or the ML.NET package here. So do .NET add package and we need to give it the package name so Microsoft oh, ml All right so get that we can double check our project and there it is All right so let's create a very simple model here now it's a code space but it has Visual Studio code so we we'll need to get a data file in here well let's use that salary data that we've done before it's probably one of the simplest data sets that probably is in there. You can see we just have two items. There we go. And we're going to need a class a salary data. So we can do this, but just like Visual Studio, we can set the using. Let's input that data. Move that to the top. Yes, we got our input class here. All right. And, and let's go ahead and get our pipeline in here. Get our context missing. Our context is missing. So go ahead context equals new ML context. And I'm going to add a seed here. I'll add the meaning of life, 42. ML context is missing, so we're using Microsoft.ml. There we go. And I forgot to load in our data. There we go. So we've got all that. Very simple model here. Just doing a regression on the salary data here. Uh, creating the model and doing predictions and then getting the metrics and we'll press the R squared here. So how do we run this? So the .NET CLI has a run command but also a build. So let's build it first, make sure we don't have any errors. Right, that looks good. .NET run. There you go. So we got an R squared, a uh, pretty nice R squared there. But uh, if you're not used to using Visual Studio Code for C Sharp, how do we debug here? Well, let's see, I can create a, create a breakpoint here, and then on this run and debug, run and debug, and we'll put .NET 5 and .NET Core. There we go. So we can just run this button up here to run and debug. There we go, breakpoint started, and we can go into our variables like that, just like we did in Visual Studio. All right, uh, so just a quick video to show how to use ML.NET in CoSpace or specifically in Visual Studio Code. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time.